Hey guys, I recently saw, about uh, maybe about 10 minutes ago, the reason I'm t telling you this now and not a minute l earlier is due to the fact that uh, after recording this, I didn't hit upload, and uh, YouTube decided to disconnect during that time. Um, but don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you the exact same thing. I'll give you the exact same news I said to the other group that didn't watch that video, but don't worry. Um, you'll get the exact same footage. Anyways, uh, guys, uh, the reason, um, this past, uh, these, uh, so I said I was on Mortal Kombat. Uh, I'm also going to, in this video, review my weekend. And, uh, so, uh, enjoy that. Okay, guys. So first, I'm going to recap my experience on Mortal Kombat, um, and uh, this is how it will go. I'm going to review it as it was, if it were released the same, the same graphics, the same way it was shot th this year. I'm going to give my own take on it, and then I'm going to give my own take on it if it were released, if I watched it when it was released, in the year it was released. Which, according to the box, says 1995. Uh, I also would like to point out a funny fact. Is that on the box, it shows the poster art for Mortal Kombat, which is uh, right here. I have to tilt it because then you wouldn't be able to see it due to glare. You have the Mortal Kombat cover right there. Then you have the Mortal Kombat Annihilation uh, one. Whoops. Which is right there. And uh, if you could read it, it would say Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Destroy all expectations. <laughs> and so, if I were a moviegoer in, uh, when it was released in 1997, and I saw that movie poster, and I was going in high expectations for that movie, and I saw that poster, and I said, destroy all expectations, and I was like, it'd be like, damn, I really thought Mortal Kombat Annihilation would be good. Or if I had come out of the movie, and with my expectations of Annihilation pretty high, and it turned out to be bad, and I'm like, dang it! This movie said it was going to be good. I could go, no, no, the movie never said it was going to be good. Maybe in the trailers. But the movie poster art says it all. Destroy all expectations. So you were stupid. Anyways, guys, I, wa I will be reviewing Mortal Kombat Annihilation at a later date, due to the fact that I have not seen it yet. I know so most of you older people out there who have seen the movie would have been like, What the heck, dude? You still haven't seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Dude, I just bought the movie. Chill out. And to those who are going to see this review, I'm getting like a three-minute introduction. And to those who are going to see this and uh, be like, You're spoiling the movie for us who have not seen it. And be like, dude, Mortal Kombat Annihilation has been out longer than I have. It's been out three years more than I have. I'm 16. 16 and 3 together, that's 19. This friggin' movie's been out for 19 years. And you're telling me you haven't seen it. I'm sorry if the movie is, spo is spoiled... But this movie's been out for 19 years. Where have you been? To so the younger audience, smiles. That's all I have to say. Anyways, let's get on with it after I have a little drink of uh, lemonade. You can't see it. And I don't want to spill it. Mmm. Organic lemonade. Don't ask me how it's organic. I don't even know. Although it does have like a 
darker color to uh, I think if it says organic lemonade it means I had it hasn't been touched by chemicals to make it sweeter or more sour. It's all natural. Anyways, time to get on with the review. The review is like this. 2014 standpoint. Terrible graphics. Or not terrible graphics, but terrible CGI. On one character in particular. And two characters, actually. Uh, and those two characters would be King Goro, I believe it is. King Goro and Reptile. Now, I'm talking about Reptile before he turns or is kicked into uh, or sh thrown into the body of Reptile. You know, the Reptile we all know who's, uh, you know, the fighting ninja with the mask over. I'm not talking about that reptile. I'm talking about the reptile when it was a reptile. Uh, so, yeah. Terrible. It looks like clay. I'm sorry, but Goro and reptile before he, when he's a reptile, looks like freaking clay. Like, a little kid could put reptile together out of clay. It's what, I mean, to me, that's what reptile looks. And, uh... And, uh, what's it called? King Goro? Or, I'm just gonna call him Goro. Goro? He just... He looks like clay. I'm sorry. Goro looks like clay. Reptile looks like he's made of freaking Play-Doh due to all the colors that he has. It's like, what the heck? Yeah. That's my standpoint. But, uh, the fighting... The fighting is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. The fighting in that movie is pretty good. But yeah, other than that, the CGI is just terrible. Mm, it's just, I mean, it. It kind of looks like it. I mean, it. You know, it. It looks like it belongs there. You know, it's not like you know the characters like, oh wow, like talking. You know, he's like talking to nothing when he was filming. Maybe he was. No, they didn't even have motion capture that back then. You know, he's just talking to nothing. Until, like, they put in the CGI and stuff like that. You know, he's sort of, it like, it looks like it sort of belongs there. Except that the fact that the colors and stuff looks like freaking clay. But, you know, it looks like it belongs there, unlike some other movies. Nah, it doesn't, you know, the graphics are like, no, it doesn't belong there. Uh, but, yeah, it's actually, I like it. Now, from the 1995 standpoint. Uh, Mortal Kombat, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Real good movie. Um, the fight scenes are amazing. Uh, the CGI, or the computer-generated image, you know, it's, it's amazing. Um, you know, everything uh, looks real. Uh, and, uh, you know, it feels like King Koro is there. You know, it feels like every death there is authentic. You know, uh, it just looks amazing. You know, I say go check it out. Uh, I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, it's a great movie, so you should uh, go check it out. 7 out of 10. Great movie. Okay, now that uh, 1995 is given its standpoint, a 7 out of 10. You know, I'd say uh, if it were up to me, and I compared it to like good, mo like uh, good CGI movies, like no, I'm not even gonna mention Transformers. I just did it, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> okay, if I mentioned it to like a movie, which like like Alvin and the Chipmunks. I mean, it's not on the same great movie level as Mortal Kombat, but you know, it's got CGI and it uses it a lot. Actually, no, I can't compare it to Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks, you know, uses it a lot. Whereas Mortal Kombat uses it for, like, some scenes. And, I don't you know, I'd just give it the same rating. 7 out of 10. Actually, maybe 8 out of 10. 
to you too that some of the fight scenes do look realistic, like uh, when uh, Scorpion is fighting Johnny Cage. You know, you know, it looks like Johnny Cage is getting his the shit beat out of him. <laughs> and, you know, it looks authentic. So yeah. And uh, that is my re movie review. If you only came here for the movie review, I'd like to thank you for watching this movie review. Uh, but if you came here for the life events that happened on Saturday and Sunday, stay tuned. But I'm just going to right now wave goodbye to the people who only came here for, uh, you know, this. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, you know, if you want to go see it, go uh, go see Mortal Kombat Annihilation. It's been out for 19 years. I'm guessing next Next, yeah, next year will be its uh, will be its 20th anniversary. So uh, and yeah, that that'd be amazing, <laughs> you know. And uh, just yeah, I think it's a great movie for uh, you guys, for bros to check out. You know, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got uh, you know, it's got women for the men, and it's got men with no shirt for the women. And it's uh, got Sonya jumping around fighting. So. <laughs> Men, I mean, Sonya's not hot, but men, women jumping around. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just being, she's being a perv right now. I'm perving out. So, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, it's a great movie. You should go check it out. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button. Because you like, if you like the review, if you didn't like the review, go ahead and hit the like button anyway. Because, you know, the like button is just like an addicting button to press. And so is the subscribe button while I'm at it. The subscribe button, it's addicting to press. But, you know, it's unfair that you can only click it once. You know, it changes colors. It's like a chameleon. It goes from red to gray, and it just blends in with the background once it turns gray. It's like reptile. You know, he, he's like a chameleon, you know. It's cool. You should go check it out. Anyways, guys, so thank you for coming for the movie review. Hey, guys, uh, now you're back. You've only haven't, I bet you haven't even left. Um, so now it's time to tell you what happened over my beautiful weekend. So as you know, some of you know that on Saturday I did a live event, a live stream, live event, here on the YouTubes, you know. I was doing a bunch of live streams on Twitch, and I was like, you know, it's time to share YouTube a little bit of love. And, and plus, I was real close to level 10. Uh, and YouTube is the reason why I wanted to reach level 10, due to uh, Smosh doing the Play Smite with Smosh event today, which I don't know uh, who has been chosen. I really want to know who's been chosen. But it says the video should be coming out today. So what? Uh, yeah. Mm. Or that's when the cutoff, because it's being, I'm guessing it's being filmed today. Anyways, I don't know. But I signed up, and I'm ready, because I am level 10. Uh, I signed up again. At, uh, I signed up at level 10. Uh, I signed up when I wasn't level 10. I signed up again at level 10, just to let you know. So once I hit level 10, I was like, sign up! You know. So it finally reached level 10. I was like, thank you, YouTube. You know, thanks to the people who have been watching. Thank you all. You know, I couldn't have done it. I mean, I could have done it without them. But, I, you know, I thank you for, like, watching. Stuff like that. And, you know, I don't know. And I was like, okay, now it's time to end. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. And I said all my stuff. And it was out. It was 2, two o'clock in the morning. Or of Sunday. It was 2 o'clock Sunday morning. When I started the stream Saturday. I was like, mm, it's time to go to bed. Uh, you know, I was going to get everything ready. I was going to go under the covers, you know. Lay my little head down, you know. I was going to go. But, uh, my mom was awake. And I was like, uh, what's going on? It's 2 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. And no one's up at 2 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Except this guy. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, so that had happened. I was like... What's going on? And she's like, you want to go to the hospital? And I was like, uh, you know, I was like, is everything okay? And I was like, I know, I mean, it probably had to do with my cousin, because the whole day Saturday, almost the whole day Saturday, we were there, uh, because uh, this is about to get a little TMI. Uh, so, 
if you want. Close your ears, and when I say, and when I do, I want to do this. I want to raise the volume. You know, it's time to listen again. So TMI. Okay, guys, back to what I was saying. Um, so the whole day we were at my cousin's house, and uh, she was having you know bad contractions. You know they were hurting. She'd been pregnant for eight months. You know, you know, uh, you know, she had big belly. Uh, so you know, she was she was having the pregnancy things going on, and the family wanted to be there just in case she broke her water, and uh, we could all be be rushing to the hospital. But it didn't happen that night, and uh, so we were all you know sent home. You know, you know, you know, everything's gonna be okay. You know, you know, maybe it'll happen today. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow. But you know. Just go home, relax, and do whatever you feel like. So now, okay, raise the volume. Uh, so now it was Sunday, Sunday morning, two o'clock, and uh, my mom's telling me, you know, things are happening. Things. This might be the day where we have a newborn child into our lives. You know, this may be the day. This may be the hour that our newborn child, our newborn child, will be brought into this life. I was like, okay. And she's like, do you want to go to the hospital? And I was like, I'm there. Uh, so he's like, okay, fine. Get ready. Get dressed. You know, do all that good stuff. You know, and I was in my uh, Superman shirt. It was the colors, not my lightning. Uh, you know, and I had just gotten my glasses uh, Friday. So this, this would have been like the third day I would have been wearing these glasses. And, you know, I'd styled my hair, I put on a little deodorant, brushed my teeth, you know. I was like, I got as clean as I possibly could in a short amount of time. I was like, I got dressed, and it's like, you know. And we were all downstairs. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. The whole house is awake. My grandma's up. She was taking me to take a shower. My uncle, he had already gotten, uh, already had gotten, you know, bags and blank of uh, bags of blankets, you know. Because hospitals are cold. And the whole time, while we were at the hospital, everyone was saying it was cold. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, we got, you know, we were we were taking the whole family to the to the to the hospital. You know, and I was like, Ugh, I haven't gotten any sleep, but you know what? I'll do it for the baby. So I styled my hair, and you know, we were there too. And uh, we f we got to the hospital. I guess it was like three, maybe four o'clock. In the morning, it was nighttime outside. We were driving. We were driving on the way to the hospital. You know, things were getting organized. Pictures were being taken, and you know, they were talking about my title as the youngest born in the family was going away. You know, and uh, yeah, so we were all headed to the uh, hospital, and I even caught it on videotape, or caught it on camera, so it's on here. So I will put that video together for you guys to watch. Uh, but first, I want to get at least a little bit of footage of the little guy before I post it here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I started a little vlog, you know. And then we were on our way to there. You know, we loaded up in two cars. Uh, my cousin went to go get his girlfriend. At, uh, my cousin was in one car with my uncle and his girlfriend in one car. And... My cousin was in his uh, in that car on his way to go get his girlfriend, and my grandma, my mom, and myself were in my mom's car. And we were on our way to the hospital. You know, we were going to be the ones first ones there. It's raining now. We were going to be the ones there. You know, and uh, so uh, we arrive at the hospital. You know, we're not the first ones there, but you know. Out of the family that was in this house, we were the first ones there. You know, my cousin, my other cousin Alex was there, of course. My cousin Vanessa, who had been pregnant, and her husband were there, which I've become real good friends with. And um, you know, almost the whole family was there. Um, whole close family was there. And um, you know, his uh, and the hus um, my my cousin's husband's mother was there, and you know. We were all there, just you know. This may this may be the hour 
the day. No, actually, we had gotten there around 3, before 3.44, because I was born at 3.44, and I was like, but do I get to keep the title of the earliest? Uh, but, you know, so, yeah, 3, oh, no! no. So, uh, yeah, it's been 20 minutes, so, uh, so we're all there, she had been having lower the volume, about to have some TMI. Uh, con she was about to have uh, contractions. She was getting them real bad, you know, and she was hooked up to the monitor, so each time she had a contraction, there was a, a bar, uh, like, you know, I was like, I guess it's like a heart de meter detecting sort of stuff, and it was there, and each time she would get a contraction, you'd see like, <laughs> like this mountain, just, you know, to be, <laughs> And uh, you know, you know, dee dee, you know, you know, you know, you know, because I did, flatline. <laughs> no, uh, that did not happen. But you know, each time she got a contraction, you'd see like, yeah, yeah, and just like, you know, she was, she was in pain. She didn't want. Uh, some sort of medicine that would have made it easier on her, and she's like, no, no. And then, uh, how we were in the room, we were taking, they were taking pictures and stuff like that, taking video and stuff like that. And I was in the room, sitting against the, you know, sitting against, standing against the wall. I got tired of standing after, like, a couple, maybe an hour or a few minutes or so. I was like, you know, I'm tired of standing, I'm gonna go out into the waiting room. And about a few minutes later, everyone else who was in the waiting room was, you know, out and stuff. And uh, we were in the waiting room for quite some time, you know, hooked up to the internet, listened to a little bit of music, hooked up to the internet, watched a lot of YouTube videos, just random videos that I hadn't mi had missed, you know, and stuff, you know, I was catching up on my YouTube videos, on stuff that had been released uh, that week, and I didn't watch. I was like, you know, catching up on my YouTube videos, you know, and I just sat in the room, and then everyone came in, I was like, I had the waiting room to myself, and you know, well, not to myself, there was like three other people in there, and uh, I'm going to stop the video, for those who are, as <laughs> I know, waiting room, and I'm going to stop the video, so I know this is getting real intriguing, maybe, to some of you, if you want to know more, I'll be having part two, welcome baby, uh, part, it'll be, Part two, welcome baby. This will be part one, Mortal Kombat and Baby Talk. So uh thank you guys for watching and uh stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.